Hey guys, what's up? Rajit here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Guys, in this video, I'll show you how you can create this amazing three-dimensional depth-making video animation inside of After Effects by using few simple steps. So without wasting any time, let's get started. <laughs> So guys, right now we are in After Effects version 2020 and if you can see that you can exactly control this cool depth by using this null object. So today I'll teach you that how you can create this depth and connect with this null object. In fact, you can control by using this null like depth position and all. If you go in depth, see the focus is also getting changing. See, in fact, on this anytime, you can change these positions as well, but the camera animation will not distort it. See, the camera animation is still there. In fact, when you move it in anywhere, it will not getting any kind of keyframe. So these are the cool steps I will teach you. And after that, if you notice, it will go inside like this. So how you can do that, I will teach you as well. Okay, so uh, first of all, let's delete this comp. Otherwise, it can be crash. So let's delete it. After that, you have to import your PSD file. The PSD file is in Photoshop file and you can see in this PSD file, when you turn it open, you, over there, there are three layers. Okay, right. It should be in like composition, composition, uh, retain layer sizes and it should be in editable layer mode. So just press OK. So when you press OK, it will import it like this. Then double click on this comp. Now it's fine. So now you can see there are a few layers which is already in Photoshop file. So now let's turn off and see how many layers are there. Like this is a background layer which is this one with uh, less depth and less colors. And after that this leaves, in, uh, then after that this frame and after that this final leaves. Okay. So uh, if you uh, see that there's a multiple depths in it, like you can see it's already, it's look like a depth by using these colors. And this photo is just amazing. So after that, when you import all these layers, you have to take uh, your camera. So I'm taking it right click new and a camera and it should be around like uh, 35 mm, it's good. No need to turn on this depth for right now and after that press ok now i'll teach you how you can control this depth in a very easy way so first of all toggle the switch like this and after that you have to turn on this 3d layers okay after that from here you can see the one view so just click here you can see this is called two view horizontal just click here so now we have two views one is our main active camera view and one is our top view because we are doing it in top view the reason is we have to make a depth you can use it the left view as well but i prefer top view why i'm telling you okay so first of all this is my background layer as i know so press s and scale it okay but before scaling you have to make it in a depth so let's give it around this much area should be good and now if you notice the bounding box is this much you have to scale it or until the bounding box is covered this year is main frame so just scale it like this and it should be going little more out so that when you change your camera positions and all it should be not look like the background will be visible so i'm making it like 180 like this after that these leaves are also should be in depth so let's make it around this much depth is very good after that same thing you have to scale these leaves like this around uh, yeah fine uh, this is okay after that this frame as well it should be go around this much depth is good enough we have to make the depth should be proper but you can use it by your own way i'm not giving you the exact ratio so now it's look like the first image okay it's just a little bit scaled so now you can see there is no gaps because we have created a depth now if you change your camera let me show you now if you move it like this you can exactly feel a cool parallax now you can call it as a matte painting yes it's it's like a matte painting but by using this you can create so many motion controls things like you can create like cool vector animations you can create so many things now you can see this is a cool perspective or parallax kind of thing it's right now visible when you're moving inside you can also make this animations look cool now let's rotate this camera a little bit so that you can understand it really pop proper way now see when you rotate it you can see the cool parallax so this is the way how you can control this kind of cool things by using this camera now let me come to the cool depth control things and all so we don't need this layer right now so let's lock this layer because we already created the depth now go to this active camera view over there i have to create a null object because whatever we will control we have to control this via this null object so right click take a new and call it null object now let's rename this uh, sorry let's right click and rename it like a 
control or controller something like that okay after that we have to connect every details with this controller but before that we have to create our cool animation like camera is going inside and outside something like that so for that press camera button and press p for position and shift a for point of interest then just click all this and after that now go to the last frame and after that you can move your camera like in depth something like that now the camera is going inside okay this is cool right but you can see the these cuts are visible right now so how you can cheat with this kind of thing i'll teach you so now when you play this camera let's play it zero you can see the camera animation uh, looks just amazing see it's moving really well now make it quarter so that it's not getting hang and let's play this so now see the school three dimensional animation is right now done now how you can control this by using this in controller so first of all what you have to do just open this camera button over there you can see this is a called a parent child option link option just click here where you can see the controller option is there so just click this on so now whatever i will change by using this null object it can actually change your camera but before that we have to make this null object a three dimensional object now select this and after that just simply you can move it see when the null object is moving your camera animation is also moving like this fine right now go in depth like this but see the null object is still there so the basic thing is when you change this null object you can see no keyframes are active here because we are controlling this camera by using this null object so this is a plus point we don't have to give any kind of keyframes and it will not destroy your main camera animation but still you can control it by any way see the control is very well now coming to the depth of field when you go depth the depth of field will not be controlled by this null object right but you can control how you can i'll show you just turn this off and go to this camera option over there you can see there's a depth of field and focus distance and all so you go to the first frame after that turn on this depth of field option when you see the depth of field option turned on this is my depth of field position right now the depth of field is in this area so just increase the aperture value so when you increase the aperture value you can see some blurs will be visible so after that when you increase the focus distance so this is my first layer okay this is my first layer so the focus distance should be there so first of all what you have to do let's uh, change this camera position little bit inside something like that and after that let's increase the focus distance let's make around uh, this much area is good this so this this area is right now in focus good after that we have to increase the aperture value so much you can increase it by your own way now you can see the blur is right now visible in background okay so i am increasing it very higher value because the camera is in very uh, far background so now you can see the depth is looking really amazing so how you can control this just click this focus distance just click this option and move it like this so now what happened when you control this it can also change the focus by using cool movement by using this in fact when you change the focus in any time something like that it will not destroy your main camera animations see it's changing but when you change it by using this null object it's still there in fact you can move it around in anywhere so this is the cool way that how you can control this cool depth of field by using this null object in fact you can control the camera option as well so after that when you're happy with your camera animations and all let me show you the another thing that how you can make this cool thing in a really good way that it should look like a really three dimensional feel so first of all let's adjust our basic camera depth of field so let's make it around uh, this much should be good enough so this will my depth of field is fine after that what you have to do you have to take a right click new adjust my layer and let's uh, rename it like a parallax just press okay go to the controller right click over there called distort option is there from here you can on this optics compressions just click here after that turn on this reverse lens distortion and let's go to the first frame turn this on field of view and go to the last frame when you go to the last frame just increase this field of view like this so it's feel look like the camera is going very go inside something like that don't increase too much it can be stretch so now see when you go it like this see they're looking really amazing 
nice you can make this kind of things for your cool animation so how many layers you have that's the main thing so if you have more layers it can create a good depth for your image now i have only this much layers so that's why it's not looking really nice but if you have more layers then it can be good so let's move it inside around like this so this is my focus angle and all so now when you go inside see it's looking just amazing okay so for showing you a good thing let's turn a text layer uh, like this and after that let's type uh, after effects tutorial like this okay and after that let's change the color around white and uh, let's make it down so that you it should look like a really pro and after that simply turn on this 3d layer and let's the camera around like this much area is good and this is fine okay so now this focus is in this camera like after effects tutorial option so now when you change by using this cool you can see wow just amazing but when you move see this kind of blacks are visible that's why i am just increasing the scale value around like this so increase this controller a little more inside and this one layer as well on this parallax sorry on this depth like this so after that when you control it from using this controller let's make it from one view and let's control it see it's just amazing now uh, i can give so many depths here so for that i'm using a trap code particular so from here new solid and let's make it like particles press ok and after that go to this uh, where you can say like rg and from here particular and after that the particle system will on by default and now this is a by default particle system but we have to create it in a three dimensional way so from here designer option you have seen here so just open the designer it will take some time so these are the designers options and all there are cool presets are there okay so i use some presets for making this kind of cool thing so i'm using this deep box area so these are the particles i exactly need and after that press apply here the basic thing is in uh, part, uh, trap code particle it's already coming in a depth it's not a two dimensional layer it's already in three dimensional layer so just go to this camera first just turn this off the depth of field and after that because i have wait just a minute i'm just turn off this depth of field from here okay so now what happened the camera is less resolution so just move it around let's see that this i my depth controls things and all and after that go to those particles just move this layer little inside so that you can see the exact thing like this and increase the timeline uh, it should be around uh, this much is good so now see this is my main particles now you have to increase and all so go to the uh, emitter option over there the particle per second is around let's make it 800 it's good so that the more particles are visible after that you can see the x rotation y rotation positions and all velocity and the particles so these are my particles option over there is the colors so let's change the color it around this kind of yellow kind of thing so this is looking really amazing this kind of colors are good and after that the size let's make this to 10 so it's looking uh, like this and the opacity should be around uh, let's make it little down so that it should look like this after that you can change there are so many options shading physics and all world transform position so when you go to world transform there are so many options guys i'll make a cool trap code particular tutorial very soon so for that you have to follow me on my social media handles for getting up to date and every time after that there are so many options life per seconds and all but i didn't mean that anything just scale this little bit like this something like that so that it should window will go out and after that when you go to this camera and move it around you can see it's already in three dimensional depth see it's already in three dimensional depth now what you can do you just have to turn on this uh, camera depth of field like this so see it's already showing like this okay after that you can just move it around something like that so see it's already getting animated so in this way you can create these other cool things i'm just turn this off particles so that uh, it will not hang and this is the way after that you can color correct it and all many things you can do so when you finalize everything and you done your final output and when you render this it will completely around look like this
So I hope guys you understand this how you can create this cool amazing three dimensional depth inside of After Effects and by using that you can create so many things like intro graphics like motion graphics and all. So guys this is it for today I hope you really love my this tutorials and my rest of the tutorials as well. And guys before leaving this video you have to subscribe my channel VFX world also you have to press that bell button for the further notifications. Also you have to follow us on our social media handles like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn and I will see you in my next video very soon till then have fun stay healthy and keep rocking VFX world.